Autofocus tracking, better known as CAF plus tracking, is a powerful AF feature of the OM system, OM1. If you know how it works on a technical level and when and how to use it in practice. My name is Thomas Eisel. I'm a professional photographer from Vienna, Austria. Many Olympus veterans dreaded continuous autofocus plus tracking because it was not very reliable and a bit unpredictable. So when I first got the OM system OM1, I tried continuous autofocus plus tracking immediately. And to be honest, the first impression left me a bit confused. So I conducted a thorough research and tested the feature a lot. And today I use continuous autofocus tracking for many situations and I'm always amazed how good this feature is if you use it correctly. One thing before I get started, continuous autofocus plus tracking works unlike any autofocus mode I've ever tried in any camera regardless of brand. So let's get started. There are interesting discoveries ahead. Let's start with some continuous autofocus tracking basics. When you have selected continuous autofocus plus tracking as an autofocus mode, the OM system OM1 will start tracking the subject that is under the focus point when you activate the autofocus. It will then register the shape, color and movement of the subject and it will attempt to follow it. The autofocus operation itself is performed using phase detection autofocus. Also keep in mind that as soon as continuous autofocus plus tracking is activated, all subject detection modes are overridden. So if you have face detection or animal detection or whatsoever activated and you use continuous autofocus plus tracking, the moment you hit AF on, the subject detection will stop and the camera will just continue to track the subject based on shape, color and movement. This tracking operation is then indicated by either a green box when the AF area point is set to on one or by multiple green AF boxes when the AF area pointer is set to on two. As long as the OM1 is able to detect the subject, it will follow it through the whole frame. When the subject is no longer detectable or the subject leaves the frame, the camera will stop autofocusing until it is able to re-detect the target or when you are re-engaging the autofocus acquiring a new subject for continuous autofocus plus tracking. In order to make best use of continuous autofocus plus tracking, it is crucial to understand what the camera actually does. So, as I've mentioned previously, it attempts to follow a subject. And that's the keyword. It does not really attempt to follow the specific parts of a subject, but the subject as a whole. So, when shooting in continuous autofocus plus tracking, you sometimes realize that the AF box drifts to a different part of the subject. And that is perfectly normal and it actually works like it is intended to work. So that's one thing. And the second thing to keep in mind is that the OM1 when in continuous autofocus plus tracking will always try to focus on the part of the subject that is closest to the photographer, closest to the camera. And that makes a whole lot of sense because of two things, of course. First, usually you don't want to have some sort of back focus right there. And second, usually 
due to the depth of field and the near-far distribution of depth of field, it is always better to have the focus on the front part of the subject and extend it um, further back rather than just having a back focus issue. So with these two things, you can pretty much predict what the camera will do in practice. When it comes to continuous autofocus plus tracking, two settings are absolutely crucial. The first one is setting the AF area pointer to on two instead of on one. This means that you get the small green AF boxes and these boxes will accurately show you where the OM-1 is actually focusing on. So you can always judge whether the focus is on the part of the subject you want it to be. Here is how you set the AF area pointer. Go to menu, then go to the AF menu, second sub menu, there you're gonna find AF area pointer and the three available settings off, on one and on two. And the second key setting for continuous autofocus plus tracking is actually continuous autofocus sensitivity. As a rule of thumb, it should never be set to minus one or minus two when using continuous autofocus plus tracking. And here is the reason why. If the camera hesitates too long before it refocuses, of course, the viewfinder image, meaning what the camera sees, changes a bit. And when there is a lot of movement and a very challenging situation, this can lead to the camera losing the subject. So for general purpose, set it to zero. But if you are dealing with subjects in close vicinity, meaning zero to three, five meters or something, consider raising the continuous autofocus sensitivity to plus one or even plus two. This will greatly improve the continuous autofocus plus tracking performance of the OM system OM1. To set the continuous autofocus sensitivity, go to menu, go to the AF menu, there pick the third sub menu. Here you're gonna find continuous autofocus sensitivity. There are two situations where continuous autofocus plus tracking works really well. The first situation is when you have got a fixed composition and you want to follow a subject that is moving within this fixed composition. Let's assume we've got this fixed composition and we want to track the white balance card. First we're gonna lock focus. Now we got the confirmation beep and there are the green boxes. Now whenever we feel like it, we can fire a burst. All right, the OM1 stays on target. Let's challenge the system a bit by turning the card sideways. And you can see the OM1 will still continue to follow the card. The second situation where I highly recommend trying out continuous autofocus plus tracking is when you are shooting reportage style photography with wide angle lenses especially when you are working with subject distances somewhere between 1 to 5 meters. What I'm doing in these situations, I'm focusing on the subject I want to capture and then I slightly recompose and I can very reliably follow the scene without worrying about autofocus point placement. And thanks to the depth of field, that I get from a wide angle lens, I'm able to safely get the shot, even when continuous autofocus tracking is placing the AF point on the nose instead of the eye, for example. Keep in mind that you want to use a fast focusing lens that ideally has a bright aperture. Then you really get the best performance in autofocus tracking. Let me give you five very important 
practical tips for using continuous autofocus tracking in practice. The first tip is always ensure proper autofocus lock before firing the first frame. You do so by either checking the AF confirmation mark, meaning the green circle, or by listening for the AF confirmation beep. The second tip is that when the camera acquired focus, you should not recompose the scene with a jerky movement, because by doing so, you will almost certainly cause the OM-1 to lose track of the desired subject or the desired part of the subject. The third tip is that when autofocus tracking is engaged, watch where the green autofocus targets are active currently. Because by doing so, you can quickly notice when the focus drifts off to an undesired part of the subject. When you notice that, just release continuous autofocus tracking and re-engage and you are good to go. The fourth tip only applies to very challenging circumstances where the camera sometimes loses the focus. This is for example when you have got flashing LED lights or it is very dark or the background is very busy or you are not using a very fast lens so the camera cannot really discern what is foreground and background. So those are the situations. And what you want to do in these situations when you see that the camera cannot track the subject, you just use the burst shooting technique. So you acquire autofocus lock, you fire a burst of images, you release the shutter, you reacquire autofocus lock, fire the next burst of images and you continue doing so until you got the shot you want. And the fifth tip is do not use continuous autofocus tracking when you want to get a specific small portion of the subject in focus. When you want to do that, you have to use either the single point or small area autofocus target instead. These targets can be placed over the exact portion of the subject that you want to be in focus. Continuous autofocus tracking is not meant for this purpose. When it comes to exposure metering and continuous autofocus tracking, I've got a few tips as well. When you use spot metering, it is important to keep in mind that the spot meter in continuous autofocus plus tracking will not follow the tracked subject but will stay in the center of the frame. So in practice this means that when you acquire the focus on a subject and you kind of rely on the spot meter to get the correct exposure of the subject, then you recompose, you will notice that the exposure of course changes as the spot meter moves to a different part of the image. We've set the OM-1 to spot metering and we're gonna track our white balance card. So here is the lock on, but as soon as the card moves outside the spot metering area, the exposure is gonna change. And that's of course not what we want. So what to do instead, we're gonna take a reading and then we're gonna engage AE lock. And by doing so, the OM-1 will not change the exposure regardless of the position of the white balance card. Keep in mind that it is of course not taking readings of the card right now. The exposure is just locked in. You can also use of course uh, the ESP metering mode where the camera will kind of analyze the whole scene to get the exposure correct. So it is not a big deal but just keep in mind that if you are using spot metering the spot meter will stay in the center and it will not track the subject 
around in the frame. I can only encourage you to try and use continuous autofocus tracking in your everyday photography. It is an awesome, powerful feature of the OM system, OM-1. And as with all things related to the OM-1, the more you train, the better the results will be. Thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing and following me on other social media. Also, I'd like to invite you to watch my other numerous OM System OM1 expert guides here on YouTube. See you next time.